Welcome back to the shooting channel and today I'm going to give you a couple of tips of how to mount your gun and make your gun mount better and a couple of things that you can do and get to help you to get a better gun mount which at the end result will get you more kills and more consistent with killing that clay. Thing you need to be thinking about is getting yourself a decent ski vest. Even if it's cold, I will wear my ski vest underneath my coat, but I will never shoot in my coat, whether you're game shooting or clay shooting, because when you put that gun into your shoulder, all this gets in the way. And there's so many people that go out, you're going out for a nice days clay shooting or game shooting, you want to hit something. So ditch the coat, when you're just about to shoot. You've got your ski vest. The thing you need to be looking at is a wide piece here, really a piece that comes all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. And the whole idea of that is slow. When you slide that gun up to that cheek, the gun comes into there. There's nothing here that gets in the way of when you mount that gun. So when you mount that gun there, the gun comes there. So you slide it up, there. There are some good skeet vests and there are some bad skeet vests on the market. And I have come up with a couple of ideas of what is a good skeet vest and what is a bad skeet vest. Now I'm going to shoot a couple with you just to show you how to mount that gun, what you're looking for to mount that gun. The first thing I do, I'm going to look at this batu, I'm going to shoot this batu. The first thing I'd ever think to myself is my gun has got to be clean, sweet, one fluid movement there. What you don't want to do is that than that. Your gun doesn't want to end up on your arm, on your bicep there, so you have to do that. The gun should be right in the middle of this skeet vest here. So it doesn't want to be tight in here on your collarbone, and it doesn't want to be out here. It wants to be there. So if I mount that gun into the camera, it wants to be there. So not like that, not like that. The gun wants to slide up there. And this is why it's important to get a decent skeet vest so you slide the gun into your cheek. Again, honestly, if you're looking at buying a skeet vest, don't go and buy it online. Go to your local shooting school and go and find a skeet vest. Most decent shooting schools have demo skeet vests as well. So they can try it, they can, you can buy one to try. But if you go online, you can't feel it, you can't touch, you can't see how thick this is. And that is the important thing. If you look at the Castellini ski vest, and again, I'm not saying to everyone go out and buy Castellini, they are very expensive, but they are one of the best ski vests on the market, but they're thin here. And the whole idea is this is tight on your body. And take note to how that gun is mounting into my cheek. Paul? I slide my gun up to my cheek. I don't pull it back like that. I slide the gun up there. So I slide the gun up to there. But if you look, everything goes into the gun, not there than there. So I slide my gun there, come back to there. Pull. Pull. And that is really how to mount your gun, the best and easiest way of mounting that gun. And again, if you want to practice it, go into the mirror, stand in front of the mirror, and point it at your own face in the mirror. And just practice by doing that. And that is just as good a practice as it is shooting targets. So, if you watch me again, I'm going to mount the gun there. Pull. couple of things that people do do. They mount the gun, the gun is empty, they mount the gun and they do that. And what happens to my head? My head does that. So the whole idea of where you put your eyes are there. My eyebrows are parallel there. 
the gun slides to there, not like that. And then where do I put my head? There. If I do that, I take my gun to the camera. I take my finger to the camera. If I do this, I take my gun to the camera and my head is parallel with that wood. And that is, the, that is what you're trying to achieve when you mount that gun, is you're keeping that head parallel onto that stock. So the gun is coming up and it's parallel there. So again, if you watch me, my head stays still and I take my gun to my cheek. Pull. My head stays still, pull. And my gun to my cheek. So that's the biggest thing. Head stay still, take your gun to cheek. And then if you really want to get to the other bit, your head stays still and the gun to the cheek. And then the other bit that happens is the weight goes forward. So the weight goes onto my front foot. I call pull, my weight's there, bang. And that is really what you need to be thinking those three methods on how to mount that gun onto that target. I'm just gonna go next door into the next stand and I'm gonna show you something else that you could work, use to help that gun mount. The other thing that is a good exercise to practice, you get a, a nice basic simple target, an incomer or a looper, and you shoot the clay, then you shoot the biggest bit. And the reason why that is a good exercise is for you to keep that gun touching that cheek. So keep that stock touching that cheek. So that's the target I'm gonna shoot. So I'm gonna shoot the clay, then I'm gonna shoot the biggest bit. Pull. If you look, I shot the clay, and then I went on to shoot the biggest bit. I didn't move my head, I used my eyes to see where the bit was going, and I went where the bit was going. Pull. Pull. I hope that's helped you on how to mount the gun. If anyone's got any comments on that, please let me know. I'd love to hear how you mount the gun. Do you have problems mounting the gun? Please comment below. Please let us know on your comments. Please let us know if you have bruising on your cheek, bruising on the shoulder, and let us know what ski vest you wear. Let us know what you think is the best. I hope you've enjoyed this program. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Please, please, please join the membership for as little as $2.99 a month. And don't forget, it really helps us. It's free to subscribe. So hit that big red button and subscribe for us. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.